Good afternoon, everyone. So we have uh, so many presentations this morning, and all the presentations were very, very informative from Jinko team. We must, uh, I must appreciate that. So I would like to first uh, give my uh, thanks to Jinko team for uh, inviting Huawei to give a small presentation here. I would like to keep my presentation very brief, and I will just touch upon three key fact, uh, uh, points in my presentation. The first one would be what is what Huawei is doing. Uh, what we have achieved in solar industry and second would be some challenges uh, in the solar uh, field and last would be what new innovation we are doing in the inverter technology, inverter solutions. So I'm going to quickly start with this. Uh, I'll first introduce Corp Huawei Corporate. So Huawei is a very uh, known company in the telecommunication field. We are present, we are present in more than 170 countries. Uh, we are a listed uh, uh, so we are uh, Fortune 500, uh, 500 companies, the current trend is 83, more than 180,000 employees, 80,000 R&D employees, 36 joint innovation centers, 15 R&D centers. So from 2012, we were around uh, $35 billion company from there to today, 2016, we reached $75 billion revenue. And this year, we are ex uh, expecting to hit uh, 82. The results are not yet out. The half year results are around 41 billion. So the reason for uh, you know, we, Huawei's growth is investing back in the R&D. So we always stay on the edge of the technology. You innovate product uh, ahead of the, your competitors. So you are going to get the more market share, more market share, more revenues. That's the key. So we have invested around 10.9 uh, billion in 2016 back into the R&D. We have uh, R&D centers in Sweden, UK, Germany, Russia. So globalized platform is one of the key uh, success factor for Huawei. We have so many uh, globalized platform where we use those platform for several different technologies. Uh, we are present, uh, these are present in more than 170 countries. And uh, the, this is 20,000, uh, 22,000 staff is for the uh, globalized platform. Now talk about the India. So Huawei uh, started uh, business in India 17 years before. We have more than uh, 8,000 workforce in India and 11 cycle offices, 6 spare bar center. We are present in all the major countries you can see on the map, Chandigarh, Jaipur, Delhi. Uh, we have our head offices in Gurgaon, uh, Hyderabad, Bangalore, R&D center and local manufacturing in Chennai. Nearly 30 years of experience in power electronics business, uh, mainly from the telecom sector, data, net center, uh, data center energy and uh, the latest one is the smart PV solution. Now I'll talk about specifically for the solar business. So in solar business, what we have achieved, we have uh, we had central and string inverter both till 2012, and we at that time we did a comparison and decided that from here onwards we're going to focus on only on string inverter. So we will keep on improving. We see that this is the future of the market. So uh, we shifted our focus, and from there to today, we have become number one uh, inverter. Uh, shipment company in 2015 and we maintained the situation in 2016 and same score uh, trained in 2017 as well. So in 2016 we shipped 20 gigawatt of string inverter and 2017 it's 30 gigawatt. So we are number one in UK, number one in Germany, number two in France, number one in China, number two in Japan. Uh, now I'll talk about India. So in India we did uh, enter a little late. We entered around, uh, in 2016. Uh, we did the uh, first project with Huawei Energies and then uh, we did, in this one year of span, we did 2 gigawatt of shipment to India. So major to Adani, uh, Tata Power, Stalin Wilson, Jackson, Mahindra, Hero Future Energy, Maitra, Energy and Renew Power. So these are our customers. This is one of the project, 15 watt project in Mahoba UP with all the existing inverters. This is 20 megawatt uh, Mansur project with this anti-BC project. And very interesting, uh, now the, this uh, talk, there's a lot of talk about the floating projects are coming, there's a tender of uh, six to around 6 gigawatt or, uh, from Seki. So for this, Huawei has already done around 200 megawatt of project uh, globally uh, on floating solars. This, this, you can see that what, uh, the largest one is 20 megawatt in Hangzhou, China, 22 or 50 kilowatt in Thailand, 2 megawatt in Japan. So there are a lot many projects in China and Japan. 
we can discuss about it uh, what are the key values Huawei has for this of the stage this is uh, the largest uh, solar power plant in China one gigawatt of Yangtze all with Huawei string inverters 300 megawatt on the rooftop plant in China in se multi several rooftops now I'll talk about the challenges in the uh, solar uh, solar for solar power plant what uh, solutions you know the customer the developers uh, the challenges that the developer face one of the challenges the uh, the traditional string inverter might have uh, somewhere around 17 mppd per megawatt that's not enough to uh, extract the full yield out of these strings so Huawei inverters comes with uh, 120 mppd per megawatt so we are able to optimize more yield per megawatt and we are able to extend more yield from these panels. Another challenge is the uh, the inverter has fans during the uh, one year after two years because of the dirt, the fan gets some problems, get choked, needs replacement. However, Huawei solution comes with without any fans, so there is a low maintenance, low fault. And one of the major uh, problem we have seen in the rooftop plant as well as the, in the ground mount that it's more secure for the rooftop because uh, if there's a fire happens then the building is going to get hurt the structures there will be problem for the building so uh, what we have come with we have come with a solution where we can detect the any arc on the DC side and it can disconnect the whole system now I'll quickly introduce the system so what you see on the uh, screen this is a panel after that there will be a smart PV inverter which can communicate with either 4G, RS485 and PLCC function uh, then our AC combiner box LT panel this is how the system looks like uh, now I'll talk about the roadmap so currently we are we have uh, been selling 43 kilowatt and 55 kilowatt uh, pro uh, products now what we are coming up with the 70 kilowatt uh, inverter for 1100 volt and 95 uh, kilowatt inverter sing inverter for 1500 volts and 50 kilowatt another uh, for the rooftop market so these are some new products which we are launching in 2018 and a smart logger with 4g enabled now i'll quickly touch upon what new innovation we are doing so first one is sting level management uh, we are doing the there's no dc combiner boxes and no uh, fuses Multi-level uh, topology, we are increasing the topology to uh, level 5. Natural cooling, IP65 production. No inverter room required for string inverters, zero touch maintenance. Uh, power transmission, uh, we are using the NTPID, so it helps you to recover the NTPID during the night. And PLCC function, so no need of any wire to from inverter to your SCADA. Finally, the monitoring system. So NTPID, so there what we are doing in the NTPID, we are giving uh, one NTPID kit uh, which is fitted inside the inverter as well as uh, in the smart logger. So there, there is a one prevent function as well as the recover function. So recover function is inside the inverter and the prevent function is uh, in the smart logger. So both are going to help you to uh, developers to get more yield out of the panel. Integration with trackers. So, you know, when we talk about the innovation, the next innovation comes in how do we reduce <coughs> the uh, more number of parts in a solar power plant? So, one is control this tracker with the string inverter itself. So, we have done some projects uh, in China and one we are already in India as well. So, if anybody would like, we can talk more about this. This is uh, 50 megawatt in UP. We have done tracker with uh, Huawei inverters. So, it will not only provide the power, also provide the control signal. A smart IV curve diagnosis. What we are doing here is we, uh, you know, the, the smarts. We are already monitoring the current and voltage, so we are using this data to plot IV curve, which will keep on uh, doing it uh, every day. You can uh, scan your whole 100 megawatt power plant in just half an hour and get the result. How many strings have hot spot? Or what kind of fault it is generating? Cracks, junction box failure. You can just get all the data. Uh, you see in the right bottom the summary of a string inverter failure of a 500 megawatt B plant. So 55% uh, is uh, the sum of open circuit uh, out of the total overall faults. 55% from the open circuit string, extremely low output. So these are the 17 different types of faults can be detected. 
you see some of these uh, type of fault it can detect like there's any shattered breakage eva discoloration eva delamination cell cracker snail trails like these kinds of fault it can detect it will help to do a better one m dc arc function i already introduced that there's any dc arc system can detect it and disconnect the it from the ac side so in nutshell the uh, three major uh, value proposition from Huawei system one is the higher yield which uh, with more number of mppt the system will provide you more than 2% higher yield smart onm uh, around 50% higher efficiency in onm and safe and reliable system and uh, we have so many uh, we have 21 specific test center for the inverters uh, gctc labs we call it gctc labs where we do tests of all sort of uh, THB test, high temperature, hall test, dust proof test. Uh, any good, any developer, any customer would like to visit, we can take them to these, these GCTC centers to do these tests. Thank you very much. Always available for highest yield.